Finally, it is raining lava from Italy's Mount Etna. Increased volcanic activity has created a stunning spectacle atop Mount Etna, which is the tallest active volcano. Breaking news. Sicily is on high alert as Mount Etna unleashes its most powerful eruption yet. Could this be the start of something even more catastrophic? Mount Etna, Europe's most active volcano, has just erupted with an unprecedented force, sending shockwaves across Sicily and beyond. As lava flows and ash clouds dominate the skyline, officials are urging residents and tourists to stay vigilant. What does this mean for the region, and could there be more devastating eruptions on the horizon? Join us as we dive into the latest updates on Mount Etna's colossal eruption and what it could spell for the future. On August 4th, 2024, Mount Etna, Europe's tallest and most active volcano, roared back to life after four years of dormancy, sending shockwaves across Sicily and beyond. This powerful eruption has caused significant disruptions, including the closure of Catania Airport as officials scramble to manage the fallout from the volcano's biggest eruption in recent memory. Mount Etna, located on the east coast of Sicily, is a symbol of both beauty and danger. For centuries, it has dominated the landscape, with its frequent eruptions shaping the lives of those living in its shadow. However, after four years of relative calm, Etna's latest eruption on August 4th took everyone by surprise. The eruption was both spectacular and terrifying as the volcano expelled an enormous ash plume, reaching a staggering 32,000 feet into the sky. The eruption began in the early hours of the morning, with a series of powerful explosions that sent ash, gas, and volcanic rock high into the atmosphere. The sky over Sicily darkened as the ash cloud spread rapidly, carried by strong winds. Residents in nearby towns reported hearing loud rumbles and feeling the ground shake as the volcano unleashed its pent-up energy. The ash plume, which reached an altitude of 32,000 feet, was visible from miles away and even captured on satellite images. This massive cloud of volcanic material posed a significant threat to air travel, leading to the immediate closure of Catania Airport, one of Sicily's busiest airports. Flights were canceled or diverted, causing chaos for travelers and prompting airlines to issue warnings about potential further disruptions. Let's explore more about Mount Etna. Mount Etna, towering over the eastern coast of Sicily, is not only the tallest volcano in Europe, but also one of the most active in the world. With its majestic peak reaching approximately 3,329 meters, 10,922 feet, Etna is a symbol of both beauty and danger, a natural wonder that has shaped the landscape and the lives of the people of Sicily for millennia. Mount Etna is a stratovolcano, characterized by its conical shape formed by multiple layers of hardened lava, tephra, pumice, and volcanic ash. The volcano covers an area of about 1,190 square kilometers, 459 square miles, and has a circumference of around 140 kilometers, 87 miles, making it the largest of its kind in Europe. Etna's structure is complex, with several summit craters, flank vents, and fissure systems that contribute to its frequent eruptions. The main summit consists of four distinct craters, the Northeast Crater, the Voragine, the Bocca Nuova, and the Southeast Crater. These craters have been the source of numerous explosive eruptions, often accompanied by lava fountains and ash emissions. The flanks of Mount Etna are marked by hundreds of smaller vents and fissures, which have also produced significant eruptions over the years. The mountain's lower slopes are fertile and densely populated, home to towns, vineyards, and orchards that thrive in the rich volcanic soil. However, these communities also live under the constant threat of Etna's unpredictable activity. Mount Etna's eruptions have played a crucial role in shaping the landscape of Sicily, with some of the most significant events leaving lasting marks on the region. The 122nd BC eruption. One of the earliest recorded eruptions of Mount Etna occurred in 122 BC. This massive event produced large quantities of ash that buried the ancient city of Catania, causing widespread destruction and economic hardship. The Roman Senate was forced to intervene, offering relief to the affected population and rebuilding efforts. The eruption also led to the first recorded tax exemption in history, granted to the people of Catania as compensation for their losses. 
the 1669 eruption. The eruption of 1669 is one of the most catastrophic in Etna's history. It began on March 11th and lasted for several months, with lava flows reaching the outskirts of Catania, destroying numerous villages along the way. The lava overwhelmed the town of Nicolosi and continued towards Catania, where it breached the city walls and reached the sea, creating a new landmass. This eruption reshaped the landscape significantly and led to the construction of new defenses to protect Catania from future eruptions. The 1928 Eruption Another major eruption occurred in 1928, leading to the destruction of the town of Mascali. The eruption began on November 2nd, with lava flows advancing rapidly toward the town, engulfing it within a few days. The event is notable for its speed and the level of destruction it caused, prompting a significant response from the Italian government to relocate the affected population and rebuild the area. The 1991-1993 Eruption One of the longest eruptions in Etna's recent history took place between 1991 and 1993. This event saw continuous lava flows from the southeast crater, which threatened the town of Zafarana Etnea. The Italian government undertook a major engineering effort to divert the lava flow, using explosives to create barriers and channels. The operation was partially successful, saving Zafarana Etnea from complete destruction. The 2001 and 2002 to 2003 eruptions. The early 2000s saw a series of intense eruptions that caused significant damage to Etna's flanks. The 2001 eruption produced spectacular lava fountains and ash plumes, affecting the tourist infrastructure, including the cable car system on the southern slopes. The following year, a more powerful eruption occurred, with multiple vents opening on the flanks, leading to extensive lava flows that reshaped the landscape once again. The town of Lingua Glossa and the tourist facilities on the northern slopes were particularly affected. The 2021 Eruptions In 2021, Mount Etna experienced a series of explosive eruptions, some of the most powerful in recent years. These events produced high lava fountains and ash plumes that disrupted air travel across Sicily, including the temporary closure of Catania Airport. The eruptions also deposited significant amounts of ash across towns and cities, leading to extensive cleanup efforts and damage to agriculture. The eruption has had a profound impact on local communities, particularly those living in the towns and villages on Etna's slopes. Ashfall blanketed streets, homes, and crops, creating hazardous conditions for residents. Many were forced to stay indoors as the air became thick with ash, posing serious health risks, especially for those with respiratory conditions. Emergency services were quickly mobilized to assist those in need, and authorities issued a series of warnings and advisories. The Sicilian government urged residents to wear masks and avoid unnecessary outdoor activities. Schools and businesses in the affected areas were closed, and some towns implemented emergency evacuation plans for vulnerable populations. One of the most significant immediate impacts of the eruption was the closure of Catania Airport. The thick ash cloud made flying in and out of the region unsafe, leading to the suspension of all flights. The airport's closure has disrupted travel plans for thousands of passengers, with ripple effects across Europe as airlines adjust their schedules. Airport officials are closely monitoring the situation, but there is no clear timeline for when normal operations might resume. The unpredictability of volcanic activity means that further eruptions or ash emissions could prolong the closure and travelers are advised to stay informed about the latest updates. In response to the eruption, Sicilian authorities have declared a state of emergency in the affected areas. The Italian Civil Protection Department is coordinating efforts to manage the crisis, including distributing supplies, assisting with evacuations, and ensuring that critical infrastructure is protected. Sicily's president, Renato Schifani, addressed the public in a televised statement, urging calm and cooperation. Mount Etna's latest eruption reminds us of the immense power of nature. Our primary concern is the safety of our citizens. We are working closely with emergency services and scientists to monitor the situation and take all necessary measures to protect our communities, he said. Volcanologists have been closely monitoring Mount Etna for years, but the sudden reawakening of the volcano after four years of dormancy has raised new questions and concerns. 
The eruption was likely triggered by a buildup of magma beneath the surface, which, after years of pressure, finally found an outlet. The scale of the eruption has led scientists to warn of the possibility of further activity. Etna is known for its unpredictable behavior, and while the August 4th eruption is the most significant event in years, it may not be the last. Experts are using a range of tools, including seismic monitoring, satellite imagery, and gas analysis, to track the volcano's activity and provide early warnings of any further eruptions. The eruption of Mount Etna on August 4th is likely to have long-term consequences for the region. The ashfall has already caused damage to agriculture, with crops and livestock affected by the volcanic material. The economic impact of the airport closure and other disruptions could also be significant, particularly for the tourism industry, which is a vital part of Sicily's economy. Local communities are now faced with the daunting task of cleaning up the ash and rebuilding their lives. The Sicilian government has pledged support for those affected, but the recovery process will take time and the threat of further eruptions looms large. Likewise, in a startling development, the Flegrean fields, Campi Flegrei, volcano in southern Italy has shown signs of awakening adding to the region's growing volcanic concerns as Mount Etna continues its powerful eruptions. The simultaneous activity of these two significant volcanic systems has raised alarms among scientists and residents alike, as Italy's most active volcanic regions stir after years of dormancy. The Phlegraean Fields, located just west of Naples, are not a single volcano, but a vast caldera system spanning about 13 kilometers, eight miles in diameter. The caldera was formed approximately 39,000 years ago after a massive super eruption, which was one of the largest known eruptions in Europe's history. The area is characterized by numerous fumaroles, hot springs, and bradycism, the gradual uplift or subsidence of the ground, making it one of the most geologically active regions in the world. The Phlegraean fields have a complex and somewhat unpredictable behavior, with periods of dormancy punctuated by sudden bursts of activity. The most recent significant eruption occurred in 1538 when the Monte Nuovo Cone was formed in just a few days. Since then, the region has experienced various episodes of unrest, but no major eruptions until now, potentially. In recent months, scientists have detected increasing signs of activity at the Phlegraean fields. These signs include a rise in seismic activity, with swarms of small earthquakes occurring beneath the caldera, as well as noticeable ground deformation. The ground in some areas has been steadily rising, a phenomenon that often precedes volcanic eruptions as magma pushes upward, causing the earth to swell. Geologists are closely monitoring the situation, using advanced tools such as GPS, satellite imagery, and ground-based sensors to track changes in the caldera's behavior. While there is no immediate sign of an eruption, the recent activity suggests that the Phlegraean fields are moving closer to a potentially critical state. The simultaneous awakening of the Phlegraean fields alongside Mount Etna's ongoing eruptions has led to speculation about whether these two events are connected. While both volcanoes are part of Italy's complex tectonic environment, they operate through largely independent magma systems. However, they are both influenced by the broader tectonic forces at play in the region, particularly the interaction between the African and Eurasian plates. While Etna's activity is not directly linked to the Phlegraean fields, the heightened seismic activity in southern Italy could be a reflection of regional tectonic stresses that affect multiple volcanic systems. The reawakening of the Phlegraean fields presents a significant risk to the densely populated regions surrounding Naples. An eruption from this caldera could have catastrophic consequences, potentially impacting millions of people. The last major eruption in 1538 was relatively small, but the caldera's history suggests it is capable of much larger and more devastating events. Authorities in Italy are on high alert, and the National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, INGV, has increased its monitoring efforts. Local governments are preparing contingency plans, which include potential evacuation orders and emergency response measures to protect the population should the situation escalate. Residents in the region have been advised to stay informed about the latest developments and follow any instructions from local authorities. Public awareness campaigns are also being conducted to educate people about the signs of volcanic activity and the steps to take in case of an emergency. The potential impact of an eruption from the Phlegraean Fields, Campi Phlegrae, volcano, 
could be devastating due to its size, history, and proximity to densely populated areas. Understanding the impact force and possible scenarios involves considering various factors such as the scale of the eruption, the type of eruption, and the specific characteristics of the Phlegraean Fields caldera. Historically, the caldera has produced some of the most significant eruptions in European history. Campanian Ignimbrite eruption, about 39,000 years ago, one of the largest known eruptions in Europe, this event released hundreds of cubic kilometers of volcanic material, covering much of the Mediterranean region in ash and contributing to climatic changes. It had a volcanic explosivity index, VEI, of 7, making it a super eruption. Monte Nuovo. Eruption, 1538. This much smaller eruption created a new volcanic cone in just a few days. Although not as impactful as the ancient super eruption, it still had significant local effects, illustrating the caldera's ability to produce sudden, violent eruptions. The awakening of the Phlegraean fields, coupled with the ongoing eruptions of Mount Etna, underscores the volatile nature of Italy's volcanic landscape. While it is uncertain whether the Phlegraean fields will erupt in the near future, the recent activity is a stark reminder of the power and unpredictability of these natural forces. Scientists and authorities are working diligently to monitor the situation and mitigate potential risks, but the unpredictability of volcanic systems means that vigilance is essential. As the world watches these developments unfold, the people of southern Italy remain on edge, hoping for the best, but preparing for the possibility of a significant volcanic event. The simultaneous stirring of two of Italy's most dangerous volcanoes serves as a reminder of the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our planet. As we wrap up this video, it's clear that Mount Etna's latest eruption has left Sicily on high alert, with its massive ash plumes and powerful displays reminding us of the immense power of nature. Sicily officials continue to monitor the situation closely, ensuring the safety of residents and travelers alike. Remember, staying informed is key during times like these, so be sure to follow official updates and heed any warnings. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on this and other significant events around the world. Stay safe, and thanks for watching.